Singapore is, the folks here would like to say, it's the little red dot. You know, I, I like to call it the little red dot that could. Um, it's a city state of five million people. Innovation is driven out of here. Again, as I mentioned, despite that Singapore is such a tiny little country, it's truly a world-class, forward-leading uh, technology adoption nation state. And what we do here has important ramifications for Apple and Global. This is where we cut our teeth. We compete with some of the best in the world. This is why best companies in the world all have footprint here, whether it's Google, Microsoft, Amazon. They all have footprint here because they know what this means uh, to be here in Singapore, to succeed in Singapore. And obviously, once you're successful here, then we can replicate that success very, very easily into the rest of Asia and into the world. Last year, Singapore is actually 12.5% of Apple's total revenue. Imagine that, right, for a country of 5 million people. Today, Singapore is our third largest international business behind Japan and Germany. Um, and that's just incredible for a market this small. And in Singapore, our business is very, very different uh, than anywhere else in AppPoint's global uh, offices. Here in Singapore, we, become a, uh, we became a full-fledged end-to-end solution provider. Uh, what that allows us to do is really turn Singapore into an innovation center. So the big accomplishment is now all of a sudden we are a big name in the public sector here in Singapore. I'm the first person to come to Singapore back in 2008. That's when I first came to Singapore. And then 2009, we incorporated in Singapore. Um, from nobody here uh, to hiring the first person to moving office from Manilium Walk to Chevron House to now Ocean Financial Center and watch the team grow from really one person to now almost 70 people in our Singapore office. Um, and now covering, truly covering all of ASEAN. Uh, it's incredible progress, so I'm very, very proud. Growing to this size and working with uh, our colleagues from all around the world, uh, you know, uh, we have Australians here, uh, the, the team from China, you know, we have the Japanese people here as well. Uh, so everyone's been here. Um, so to build that team and build that culture uh, is, a, I think, a big achievement. I see the three big projects are the key to the success of iPhone Singapore. They are the MAS DMS project and then MSF case management project took around three years. Then the RP Leo project, which took around two years. So through all these three projects, we generated great products and then implemented great system for the customers keep using and we get a great reputation in Singapore. All through these projects, it converted F1 Singapore from a product company into a solution company and then makes us the great innovation center of F1. Happy 10th anniversary! <laughs> Happy 10th anniversary, F Point Singapore. Cheers. Happy 10th year anniversary, F Point Singapore. <laughs> Happy 10th anniversary. Happy 10th anniversary. Happy 10th anniversary. Happy 10 years anniversary, F Point Singapore. Hope we have a bigger year in 2019. Yay! Happy 10th anniversary. Happy 10th anniversary, F Point. Happy birthday, F Point. Happy birthday, F Point. Happy 10th anniversary. Every time you do something the first time, it's a challenge. So me personally, actually, um, I would think the, the period when I just started doing project delivery was pretty challenging for me. So uh, actually, I came from uh, technical support and then I, I got uh, sent to the customer to just build shopping farms and deal with the customers at the front line. Uh, at the time, actually, I haven't done uh, any project delivery at all and actually even building a shopping farm was pretty new to me and also I overcome those challenges by also directly communicating with the customers so I love talking to them understanding their requirements and their expectations 
So once we align our expectation, actually, I know exactly where I need to spend my time on. So yeah, those challenging, but actually fun times as well. Our journey to become one of the best uh, solution provider in Singapore market. Mm, in the very beginning, we have uh, no knowledge how to, do a, how to deliver a big project. And um, along the way, the team has uh, spent a lot of effort and uh, uh, spent uh, the sweat and the tears and, uh, to accumulate our knowledge, to build our uh, knowledge base and to learn how to deliver the project, how to manage the custom. And yeah, and end of the day, we are who we are today. In the past 10 years, I witnessed my own growth growing and as well as um, the team start from the scratch to one of the biggest team in the company. This is our first uh, ACS project, which is a DMS project. Before this project, uh, what we did is more to uh, do the product sell, means to sell our dog calf, our GA, or other products. But with this project complete, actually uh, our company uh, in Singapore uh, do a more and more uh, project delivery, which is a uh, service delivery. To make our Singapore uh, office, which is uh, independent and uh, different from the other company. So uh, Singapore actually is the first and also, I think, is the biggest uh, company to sell the service and the solutions. I think this is the most uh, achievement for Singapore office. Actually, the challenge is not to me, I think it's a challenge to everyone, especially for some of the colleagues who come from China office to, to this office, because the roles and responsibilities have been changed so much. Whatever we have done in, back in China, and we are, what we are doing in Singapore is so different. R&D is R&D, what we are doing is mainly like, I'm handling this case, I'm doing this job, I'm handling the, the things more than the people. But when we come here, mainly the main important thing for us to do is how to tackle with people. Because people have different expectations. And, but when we come here, the biggest challenge is about here. Working closely with the remote team, I think uh, uh, everything Nothing is impossible, so we, I think we can figure out a way as a team together. So I remember we used to have this project manager called George Hadjalukas. I'm not sure if much people remember him. He was uh, very tall, uh, very bold and uh, very loud. Uh, and he uh, you know, used to come to Singapore quite often from our US office to uh, help with our MSF projects, which was uh, quite tough at certain times uh, and George always wore a um, signature blue shirt with a yellow tie so uh, one time we organised a office prank uh, we, we organised for him to have a breakfast uh, meeting so that everyone come to the office we all wore, wore blue shirts and on the weekend we bought I think we bought uh, 50 yellow ties uh, and uh, the caps that you wear uh, to make yourself bold. So uh, when George came in, we had cameras set up and everyone was a, a mini George. Uh, so I think that was a, a fun experience, uh, quite memorable. I think we've got a video somewhere as well. So I, I, you know, I think, you know, once again, going back to the camaraderie, uh, we used to, we, well, we did office pranks um, and we used to have these huge stress ball fights and everything as well. So I think that's a, um, a good happy memory. <laughs> Uh, Halloween uh, time where we have a uh, Halloween decoration in our office. Uh, we did put a skeleton on top of the cupboard but none of us know that the skeleton can make some horror music. So there was like a day where uh, people are already leaving office around 7, 7.30 at night. Uh, somehow I stayed in office and the cleaning lady start to clean the office and the skeleton make some horror noise and I see the a uh, cleaning lady was quite scared and I think the next day she says she don't want to come and clean our office anymore. <laughs> so that is quite a, a funny moment that uh, actually uh, happened in the office. Uh, this is the first time in a point that I see a company allow uh, us to draw some graffiti on the wall. Actually, we, we want to uh, tear down the, the wall to make our office bigger and before the contractor come to tear the wall, we all can draw any, any drawings on the wall. So people are stepping on the tables and start drawing. I think that is quite a fun uh, memories of the company.
Over the years, um, I've, I've been working with all the people within this office. So some of them are still here, and some of them actually already maybe have gone back to their original country offices, and some of them actually not with Apple anymore. They have their future endeavors. So actually, yeah, I'm not sure if, if, if this is going to be uh, shown, but actually I would like to thank them. Fighting together and working together for the uh, past a few years and uh, thanks to the contribution from all of you, we have made a, such a big achievement and uh, such a miracle milestone. And uh, hopefully the, uh, in the next few years, we can achieve another milestone and we can lift ourselves up to next level. Justin, he is a very, very strict manager and give me a lot of guidance and help in my career and life. Thanks. Thank you for a remarkable uh, and a great work of the project team of MOF project. Me as a project manager has, uh, would like to uh, say a big thank you to all the people who are contributed uh, and also to the sales and uh, management who are keep supporting uh, the project and the team. Thank you. For the most of the uh, the youth, uh, the team member, uh, especially from the China office, I wish you can uh, keep challenging yourself and take more opportunity. Uh, welcome to onboard Singapore project in the future. We need more talent to join us. We've got more and more business which is running very well, but we need more people to deliver the projects. Stay with us, grow with us, be successful with us. Let's all fight together. You guys are fantastic. Um, you guys work so hard. Um, and uh, I don't know you how much you realize, but the fruit of your labor truly is transformative to our entire Appoint Global business. Proud of our team here in Singapore. We built a really great infrastructure and a platform for growth. Uh, I really look forward to continue innovation here in Singapore uh, to, to you know, go along with the government's initiative to be smart city, to be world leading, and uh, the little red dot that could, that's also AppPoint Singapore. I <laughs> 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 有点不说啊，我有点不知道咋说了。看来我不适合当个演员。<笑><笑><笑>你知道，去去比赛呢？ After that phone call from TJ， 呃，你知道 ，is， 呃 ，it's quite a change， obviously， 呃，你知道 ，do something。And that will be very very exciting. Yeah, back to tell one, we were just having fun. I think that's the most important thing: be passionate, uh, have fun, and uh, not be afraid of the hard work.、Um, it was a lot of hard work to came back, but、uh, it's also very much worth every you know, single minute of it. Hang there and see; some good thing will happen, but it will take some time.